Hey guys, I'm Alan from Premiere Pro Tips and welcome to another video tutorial. This one is a viewer requested one and it's uh, about how to make a an effect that's sort of like a bad TV, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, so sort of like lines, grainy, um, that sort of thing. So first of all, I'd like to um, thank the person who requests this video. Um, and if you guys have questions just like him, you know, send it to me and I'll try to do a tutorial. So um, here I have some footage and um, there are sort of four different effects that um, that can be added. So I'm going to add them each to individual, to these four individual clips so you guys can sort of see what each effect does by itself. And then I have this last clip which I've already done and uh, so what it'll look like all together. Okay, so the first effect is called um, arithmetic. So it's under video effects, channel, and then right there, arithmetic. So I'm just going to drag and drop that onto the video. And what this does is it um, adds red, green, and blue values to your video. So I usually like to go right around here, about. So as you can see, it sort of made these wavy these wavy lines um, so that's what it looked like before it especially shows up in the sky and then after so it sort of gives it that uh, old TV type look you know those those old uh, tube TVs and um, okay so that's one effect I'm just gonna move on to the next one next video clip um, the next effect is called wave warp so it's under video effects and then distort so wave warp, drag and drop, like any other effect. And um, so it sort of makes these waves like that, except I'm going to change this a little. Um, I'm trying to think of how I... Yeah, I like a, a bit of a bigger wave width. Because if it's... Let me show you when it's really small. When it's really small, it looks like that. So um, let's see a value that I sort of like. I want it wavy, but like. Hmm. Okay, so probably like around that. So wave height is 5, wave width is 69. Um, then you can also change the direction of it, but I think the vertical looks pretty fine. So this sort of gives it like an unstable type look. So that's wave warp. And the next effect is called noise. This is probably the most signature one. Um, so noise, it's it's under video effects, noise and grain, and then just noise. So drag and drop that onto my third clip. And then um, then this one is just as simple as increasing the percentage right here, which is the amount of noise. And see if I were to go way up, this is like. This is like old, old TV right here. This is on its dying breath. But, um, well, let's see. Probably something like that is something more, um, something more that you'd probably be looking for around 25%. So, just to recap, oh yeah, actually, I've got, I've got one more. Um, also, some old TVs do this, is sort of shakes. Um, so I can show you guys how to do like a shake type effect. And this, and like this shake effect can be used in a lot of different instances, not just in like trying to make a bad TV effect. Um, so first of all, I'm going to change this instead of it being at fit. I'm going to change it to about 50% so that I can just have a little more area on the side right there. And then I'm going to scale this up a little because the reason why I'm scaling it up is because this whole thing is going to be shaking around and we don't want black edges. So I'm going to increase this. This I already had to resize it down because this footage is bigger than the project. So I'm just going to scale it up to about like there. And then we're going to keyframe it to give it the shaking type of effect. And I'm not going to do it for the whole clip, just for the sake of time. So I'll do it for like do it for around half the clip. So I'm going to delete that. Um, and then position and scale or er, no not scale just position um, so we're gonna go to the first 
the very first frame of the clip and we're gonna place a uh, we're gonna click the toggle animation button and it's gonna give us a keyframe now what I usually like to do for this sort of effect is I find that you know probably around six frames forward is where I want to place each keyframe so I'm just gonna press the right arrow key on my keyboard six times so one two three four five six and then um, I'm just gonna click on the video so I get these outer borders and this is all like uh, this is all sort of preference it's uh, it's just playing around with it so I'm just gonna move forward quite a few that might not have been exactly six but what you're trying to do is create a randomized pattern sort of like this and my keyframes I'm placing are bigger than six just for the sake of time because I don't want you guys to be around here for forever but you just sort of keep on placing keyframes and so that you get this randomized pattern so it looks like um, so it sort of looks like a bad TV and then also once you get like a you know once you place probably like you know 15 20 keyframes and you get some sort of pattern going or something like that um, I'm gonna I'll actually make this larger so you guys can see so so once you've done quite a few keyframes and you've got you know a nice random random pattern going and then um, you can actually copy all these keyframes you just uh, drag whoops sorry my computer is working really slow right now for some reason I apologize okay you just make a box like that so that they're all blue that basically means that they're selected you want to press copy and then um, I'm just going to move forward a little and then control V to paste them so you can actually copy and paste keyframes so that's sort of neat um, so that ho I'm hoping that this is going to play for you guys but my computer isn't the greatest so it might be choppy it's hard to say well, it's going alright but yeah it just adds um, some mild shake and it's sort of hard to tell because the the camera, the filmer, was uh, sort of shaking it already. But um, so here's what the final. Let me see if I can render this out for you guys so that it's smoother. But I'll show you what the final result looks like, like with all the effects added onto one video. The reason why I added it onto four was so that you guys could see them like independently, and what each effect does. And of course, um, you don't have to use all all four of these effects you can you know if you don't like wave warp you can do away with that but probably noise is definitely what you guys are looking for probably arithmetic too those two are probably um, the most important so while this is rendering and I got a little time to kill um what can I say uh, I just finished finals my first semester of finals I'm a, I'm a freshman this year, so I made it through my first semester of college. It was pretty good. Um, what else? Um, I'm running in a 5K on Saturday, and then the following day I'm going snowboarding. I'm heading like three and a half hours north to go snowboarding. because. Uh, and then the following week I'm going to Florida for a week, and then I'm going to Atlanta for three days. So... Um, my Christmas break is going to be pretty pretty packed as it is. So I'm going to try to, you know, dish out some of these tutorials before I'm in Florida and Atlanta and all that, you know, with, with the time in between. So please, if you guys have any suggestions for videos, anything that you want me to do a tutorial on, anything like that, please feel free to either private message me or leave a comment. Or uh, in this case, this guy actually emailed me. So that's another way to get a hold of me. Um, it's just premierprotips at gmail.com if you guys prefer that method. Uh, what else can I talk about? Um, this channel has been continuing to grow. Usually every time I log on, or like every day, I usually gain around one or two subscribers. So I'm glad that people are discovering my videos. Um, what else? Oh yeah, a lot of these like really specific videos, I really appreciate these suggestions because like I would have never thought of this no matter how long like I would have been brainstorming to think of 
tutorial ideas. Like I would have never thought of like an old TV effect, but but it's good for me as a learning experience because I know what most of these effects do. So um, so for some of these like more complicated type of effects, such as this one, it's uh. I sort of have to think outside of the box, you know, use multiple effects to get the desired results. Um, what else? I just finished editing a video for a guy. I sort of do uh, just like a little freelance work um, in my spare time. And so I finished editing a video for this guy. Um, and then he actually showed it at like an event or something. And it was really... Um, the people really liked it, the crowd really liked it or something. So he said that since he was so happy with it, he uh he actually sent me another fifty bucks over PayPal. So uh so that was nice and humbling. Uh what else? What what are you guys gonna do over Christmas break? Um I sort of said what I was gonna do, so so let's hear what you guys are gonna do over Christmas break. Interactive video time. <laughs> Oh man, I need to upgrade my computer. I actually have a desktop. Um, my family has a desktop that um, that has like the newest technology in it and stuff. But um, but the problem is is that my little brother is always on it. Like you cannot get him off it if uh, if your life depended on it. So it's my hope within the next, uh, hopefully near future, to. Uh, build my own desktop, sort of a gaming rig, I guess, because um, this laptop is sort of, it, it gets the job done, but uh, lately it's been running slower, and um, I just had to reload it like a couple months ago, so yeah, um, what else could I talk about, <laughs> probably boring you guys to death, oh uh, man, um, what can I say about myself? Um, I started editing videos probably, I want to say either 8th or ninth grade is when I first was introduced to video editing. And, um, and I think I started out on Movie Maker, then I moved on to, um, what's it called? It's called Cyber something. Well, I'm drawing a blank right now. But, um... But, and then I got into the whole, um, like the more advanced stuff, and everyone was using Sony Vegas, but I had, um, Adobe CS4, like the entire suite on our desktop, so I was like, um, I'm just gonna use this instead, you know, it's pretty similar to Sony Vegas, I'm just gonna learn this. So that's sort of how I got to where I am today. So, finally, after all that talking, <laughs> um, I'll show you the final effect. So as you can see, there's a lot of like shaking to it. There are a lot of waves. There's a lot of those weird colors in the sky, and uh, I think that that sort of gives it that um, that look. And so, like I said, the major ones are probably um, noise, which is this one that makes all these like little speckles, and then also arithmetic, which makes these uh, these sort of lines in the background. Um, so thanks for watching guys, I'm Alan from Premiere Pro Tips, if you found the video helpful please leave a like and please subscribe for more videos. Um, in addition, if you have any questions um, or any suggestions for tutorials, uh, please let me know. Um, that's sort of what keeps this channel running. Um, I can only think of so many things to make tutorials on, so I sort of rely on you guys to run into problems when you're um, when you're making these videos you know hey I, I'm trying to make this effect you know can you help me out so I appreciate all the suggestions I appreciate the support um, thanks for watching peace out